All right, um, so this is going to just show the mission that we just built um, with just a couple of units cleaned up uh, in the way that I described in the last mission I would do this, just a couple of uh, placing the position of waypoints a little more carefully. Um, and I put this very, very exciting red arrow right there. That's all we see in our map at first, though, except for this border. That's like the front line, effectively. Um, and that's because the game actually has to, uh, well, the system has to initiate, and it can't do that until the mission starts, really. Um, I'm going to make my pilot just be autopilot. And we're just going to look around a little bit. I have everything set to normal settings so that um, this isn't really for flying or having fun. In that case, we would obviously be expert. Um, but here, we'll start to be able to see things on the map shortly. Not quite yet. All that will show up right now are the artillery. Um, oh, oops, I left an artillery over here. That will actually attack some of the uh, taking off German planes. We'll look at it in a second. Um, and then as the units come into the game, they're going to demonstrate themselves on the map a little bit more. So now we just had this row show up right here. And that's actually the waypoints that represent the um, user flight, the player. Um, and right now they're actually not totally selected. I, I just showed that to you earlier than I showed the other flights because they're for you. Um, and so there are four flights, A, B, C, and D. And it by default selects A at the get. But just before the planes start going down their road, they'll select a different one almost certainly. I mean, there's a one in four chance it'll be A. And then we can now start looking at our units. So here's just us, the players. And this is just showing that the players do still follow the waypoints. That's why we're not the leader. So that we could demonstrate that. Then we had the two transport flights, which are um, generally multi-engines, but covered, as we can see, by these two fighters. And those guys have just taken off. Um, these guys aren't yet synced up in the sense that they're actually covering each other yet. They'll do that shortly. And I'm, I'm really just trying to show you that all the things that we laid out are doing the things that we expected. And then we have another set of... Um, As you can see, they're taking off from different airfields, but it, we happened by chance to get the same pair of P-40s and P-2s. But that's cool. It's random which of the four flights it picks. And we didn't really like set the units in any specific way. I just wanted to show that they were here. Oh yeah, that, that's the artillery I was just talking about that I put way too close. <laughs> that's funny. To where the Germans are taking off. They both picked uh, 202s. It was also a random selection. And as these guys start to... Uh, take off and get in position, they'll start notifying the map of what they're doing. So, like, these two air entries right here, the, where the mouse is moving, that indicate those are the German flights, and that's all we'll get to see of them, because we're Russian. And so it's hidden from us unless we do some reconnaissance. And I'll talk about reconnaissance in a future one. One of our transport flights has decided on its route. And so it's going to fly the C route. These are set up, again, this is totally variable, and you can set it on the mission yourself. For A, B, C, and D, where A, I happen to have B, low elevation, B, a little bit higher, C, a little bit higher, and D, not even all that high, like maybe 4K. Um, and it's just going to fly this route, land here, as we set. And then the covering flight will land up there, if, I, if this is the transport flight, I think it is. The secondary transport flight just hit its route. It's here. And it's going to run down this. So you can see, as soon as they decide they do this, and these aircraft will fly these routes. Um, in just a moment, ours should pick. In fact, they did, and it did pick A. So we got the one in four chance. Um, and so we'll now we'll fly our route. So now we can go back in and look at these guys a little bit. That's that silly artillery attacking the ground. I want to look at some of the ground units too. And then we'll, we'll just about cut this. I really just wanted to show you that the mission that we just built in the last two quick ones. Oh, yeah. Uh, I think if you heard me talking, putting the artillery in place without putting the buildings in place means you do stupid things. You might have seen very quickly there, I had uh, tanks driving directly into the side of a building. So this is just showing that our flavor, these are the ground units, they're on the road, they're going over bridges, they're happy. These are the boats that get into formation, they're just going to go around in a circle here. I mean, this is a pretty dumb place to put these boats, but whatever. Um, it's just the demonstration, here's one of our flavor trains. And to point out these like ones that I'm calling flavor, like they're just they're they're here just to do the thing. And they, here they are doing the thing. Um, but the bigger units, like these transport units, and even the player unit that we have, these guys are really doing something specific. Um, they are on a mission. They're aiming to actually do something. It could be to bomb specific targets. And that can be variant in, even within a single mission. Um, as I show more examples of stuff, we'll get into it. Um, but yeah, like these uh, German fighters, they have a very precise mission. They're going to fly different routes to get there and different elevations to get there each time you play it. 
or if you just stay in the game for a while. But they all are all basically going to come in and go after those transport units, and that is their basic goal. And the transport units will basically defend themselves with their cover, and conceivably our flight, and then attempt to land at an airbase safely. Um, and then those things, we haven't incorporated into this mission yet, because I didn't give that in the instructions yet, how points and wind conditions and stuff like that can be incorporated. I want to discuss a little bit more on how the logic systems work before that happens, and we'll do that in the next few videos. Um, yeah.